Welcome to Tagami Vision. I'm Phil Tagami. With us today is incumbent Councilwoman Nancy Nadell, representing District 3. Nancy, it's so nice to see you. Same, same here. In, in the last 12 years, uh, your time in, in District 3, um, a lot's taken place in Oakland. Yes. Can you give us a perspective of the maybe the good, the bad, and the ugly? Well, uh, I, I've, when I moved to West Oakland, where I've been for 27 years, uh, we had no curbs and sidewalks. We had uh, businesses spewing to toxics right next to where people lived. We had the freeway running through the community. We had no stores. We had inc uh, drug dealing on every corner. Uh, so even though it, you know, it still has a lot of work to do, it has changed uh, incredibly. We, the uh, Cypress Mandela Parkway is, is just extraordinary. The uh, uh, new influx of, of uh, residents has, uh, really adds to the uh, uh, mix of people in the community. We have a couple of new developments that have mixed income housing, so we're not just isolating people by poverty uh, anymore. So those are incredible changes in West Oakland. Again, still lots of things to do there. And then in, uh, in, you know, in the downtown area, we have a, uh, the Forest City development coming up with uh, lots of new housing, lots of market rate, and affordable housing. Uh, that's, that's really been my theme, trying to get integrated incomes in every neighborhood. Right. So you know, the old tried and true question, is Oakland headed in the right direction or is it on the wrong track? You're more right direction. Well, right direction. There, there have been some frustrations along the way in, in policies that I haven't been able to pass. But um, for the most part, I've, I've supported a lot of these uh, developments and, and feel like it's, uh, it's an improvement and, and will certainly help um, bring some more revenue to the city to provide the services people want. You've earned a reputation as being kind of the moral conscious of the city council. Um, and, you know, the city council's had its fair share of challenges. Uh, in evaluating uh, this mayor, since you've had the privilege of serving with not only Elihu Harris, but Jerry Brown and now Ron Dellums, how would you rate the mayors? Well, it, uh, you mean on, uh, you know, I can't, I, I think the, the report card has to be different for, diff for, for each of them. Well, talk, uh, tell us a little bit um, about that. In terms of, of development, market rate development, Jerry was really uh, an advocate for market rate development, and we needed some market rate development in my district. Uh, we also needed affordable housing, and he was not in favor of that. Um, this mayor is, is supportive of affordable housing, and, and uh, that's, that's a good thing. And this mayor has also uh, hired somebody to uh, actually work on housing and, and uh, providing services to our um, previously incarcerated uh, with a little more success than I think our last mayor. So, you know, I think some, some good and bad from each of them. It's an important issue. You know, it's always a shame when somebody who um, serves time maybe does six months or a year, uh, is in essence getting a life sentence in their inability then to find employment, um, which really kind of leads us into the public safety issue. Mm -hmm. um, would you agree that the most pressing issue facing Oakland right now is public safety? Uh, yes, I would. I think uh, public safety intrinsically has to be linked to economic development, but uh, it's certainly a very important part of it, yeah. Right. So when we look at the discussion then between, uh, some people say diversion, versus mm -hmm. suppression. Um, are you for a balanced strategy? Absolutely. Uh, you know, when, when I tried to pass Measure R, I, I, I brought together the folks who feel only uh, uh, enforcement is the way and those who feel only um, uh, programs are the way to see if we could come to some common ground. And, and we, we came very close and then it, it, uh, uh, it morphed into Measure Y. So it, we finally got the discussion going, at least between the, the warring uh, uh, factions and and I, I think that uh, we now have funds for both police and and programs and and now we just have to use them wisely. So when we look at Measure Y, how would you evaluate Measure Y? Uh, the on the police side, it's been frustrating because the the language of Measure Y was so specific uh, that it um, the only police that could be hired through Measure Y had to be in specific categories. Uh, with Measure R, we weren't as, as specific as that, but but that's the way uh, the folks wanted it at that time, and so uh, they put that specificity in. And, and because they, they really need a lot of patrol officers, we haven't been able to fill the, the Measure Y officers. So that's been frustrating, in addition to all the other problems of hiring when we have 14,000, a shortage of 14,000 officers in the state, and we're competing with all these other cities to, to get someone to want to come to Oakland. Right. Um, with respect to some of the programs, I think we've had some, some good success in some of them. Certainly the, the restorative justice, one that I'm, I'm so excited about, and. Uh, 
uh, we did get some funds for a coordinator in restorative justice at Cole Middle School, and we're seeing an, uh, incredible changes in, in transformations in, in the character of the young people, uh, new skills in, in ability to communicate, no fights on campus for the whole year. Wow. Uh, suspensions down over 66% and no off-site uh, uh, disciplinary hearings needed. Who's running that program? Well, Restorative Justice for Open Youth is, a, is an organization that uh, I'm a founding director. We're just about to get our, our nonprofit status. I work with uh, folks like Aisha Clote from Attitudinal Healing, Fanya Davis, who's an attorney, um, uh, Jamoke Hinton Hodge uh, is working on it as well. So, uh, the, the woman who's actually working at Cole is named Rita Alfred, and she is fabulous. She is teaching teachers how to uh, provide these skills to the young people and uh, really seeding those skills uh, in other places in the city as well. Wow, that, well, that's a, a dose of good news. Yeah, and that's important to have. Uh, economic <laughs> development in District 3. Mm -hmm. what, what is your focus or what, what are you currently working on? Uh, there are two areas. So we, we have a need both for industry and retail. Uh, we have uh, done the specific plan and the zoning for retail on the Broadway spine, which I think is, is, is a good foundation, and we're finally moving down a, spe a specific path and, and working on filling it. Uh, we've, we've been hungry for retail in Oakland for a long time. Uh, on the industrial side, uh, we have finally uh, uh, got some certainty on industrial land in West Oakland, and we're beginning a uh, industrial attraction effort to fill that land. We have uh, on April 17th a um, uh, town hall coming up that I'm uh, co-sponsoring with the chamber to start introducing to the public uh, a series of, of in, in industry sectors to see what the public would like to see us focus on. Uh, this one will be on biotech, uh, the next one will be on green tech, and then we'll have uh, one on creative arts. I, I'm, uh, I, and I'm doing this because, like I said before, we had incompatible mixed use in West Oakland for many years, right. and people are very, very cautious about everything. Sure. And I, I want them to have the opportunity to ask, well, what kind of jobs do you produce? Uh, or what, what kinds of impacts do you have on the community? Do you have trucking? Do you have emissions? And, and then we'll see you know, if we can all coalesce around uh, uh, particular sectors and really do a, a, an, a, an aggressive attraction effort for them. You, you've been a champion of um, the environment and uh, trying to encourage and support efforts to introduce more green technology to Oakland. Um, is that part of the plan for West Oakland? Absolutely. Uh, you know, for I guess over the last uh, few years, I've had a couple of uh, companies come to me who wanted to locate in, in the industrial area of West Oakland, but there were some property owners holding on to their land thinking they were going to be able to do housing there, and right. so they, they uh, weren't cooperative. But we had a, a solar panel manufacturer, a wind uh, power uh, manufacturer, so you know, I, th I think they're looking for places in Oakland, and we have to uh, make sure that we're ready to receive them and use some of our redevelopment dollars to to uh, develop the infrastructure to make them feel welcome. Do you have a favorite restaurant in, uh, in Oakland or in District 3? Well, uh, gosh, there's so many new wonderful ones. I, I have to uh, give kudos to uh, Tanya Holland, who just opened Brown Sugar Kitchen in a, uh, near my neighborhood in, on, on Mandela Parkway. She's an excellent chef, and, and uh, I make my chocolates there when she's closed on Sundays. So, uh, that is a, a great place, and hope people go there. It's uh, breakfast and lunches at this point, um, uh, but that's that's a great new one. Uh, I ate at Flora the other night. That was uh, really nice. I had t uh, lunch at Tamarindo yesterday, so I'm trying out all of the new ones. And uh, the Vende is wonderful food too. So there, there's uh, there's a restaurant for every night of the week and probably every night of the month uh, to try in my district. I'm threatening to do the food and wine version of this show, uh -huh. so we'll have to have you back. It sounds like you make sure. the rounds. Yeah. Um, Clinton, Obama, or McCain? Uh, for me, um, I'm a, an Obama supporter. And you've been an Obama supporter through and through? No, I haven't, actually. It, I really struggled with it uh, right at uh, uh, the uh, last election. Um, I, I'm a little bit more progressive on the peace side than either of them, uh, but I've, I feel that uh, Obama is, is probably um, more in line with my thinking in that regard. The uh, energy level that you have to maintain for your, before serving on the Oakland City Council, you were an East Bay MUD director, right. uh, so you've had a lot of public service. You know, the energy level. This is a full-time job? Well, it's a full-time job and a half. Uh, it's, uh, I, I work constantly. Um, but like I said, I'm also working on that nonprofit, uh, starting up that nonprofit. Uh, there's another nonprofit I'm also starting up on adult literacy. 
and doing the chocolate. So, uh, but but I, I definitely have a lot of energy, and I want to focus it on the things that I want to see get done before I leave this planet. So um, the, the delicate question, um, you know, looking at the over, uh, overall city council races, mm -hmm. uh, so we have one, your district three, five, seven, and the at large. Are there any endorsements that you have? Oh in yeah. Those races? Um, Yes, thank you for asking. Uh, I am proud to have the endorsement of our assembly member, Sandra Swanson, uh, Supervisor Keith Carson, the uh, Alameda County uh, Central Labor Council and the Building Trades, um, let's see, the, the Sierra Club and the League of Conservation Voters, uh, and a, a bunch of uh, at least 100 uh, individuals and, and community leaders so far. So in looking at the other council races, are there any uh, endorsements you're making of your colleagues or potential future colleagues? Uh, we, I did endorse Jane. Uh, I'm pretty much staying out of the other races. Uh, that was always the advice of my husband when I was running to, to stay out of uh, uh, other races while you're running. So um, I still have a write in Hayes CC3 button. Yeah, so and I still have we, 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 still, we still, still have some t-shirts left over if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you have, I was not a 2XL then, but so if you have any big ones left, I have one of those. Uh, so looking at the at-large race, mm -hmm. are you, uh, any predictions or do you have a top top two candidates or? No, I, I, I am sticking to what I just said. You're and staying, staying out, out of it. okay. <laughs> okay, well, you know, uh, we're going to be doing more shows uh, panel style. Uh -huh. And we would love to have the opportunity to have you as part of our panel. Um, the goal would be a, a combination elected journalists, mm -hmm. members of the community to discuss and roundtable discuss some of the issues that are facing Oakland. And uh, I've enjoyed my opportunity to work with you and your service to the community. Thanks for coming on, and we hope to have you on the show soon. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Look forward to it. Okay. Bye.